robotics engineer, and I sit at our digital operations center, which is kind of like a little R&D arm for Dow Chemical. Yeah, I love it. We get to work with robots that already exist, like this one on the floor. We also get to work with uh, other robots that we've developed in-house, and uh, we work on improving robots to help do all different types of tasks in the plant, whether it's inspections or actual work. So, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been interested for a long time, since probably middle school, high school, somewhere around there. Uh, I just always knew I was going to do engineering, I just didn't know what type. So I've kind of been focused on that track ever since. I did not study robotics in high school, but I did take part in uh, my first robotics team. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, I actually became president for the last two years, so I enjoyed doing that. I went to college at uh, University of Texas and uh, studied aerospace engineering, which is probably not robotics aligned, but at the time there really weren't a lot of robotics universities, so I focused on something else that I still found very interesting. So now there's a WPI, they have a robotics program, uh, University of California, they've got a robotics program as well, um, but I'll, most countries in the college will actually have a mechanical engineering or electrical engineering uh, program that it has a really heavy component of robotics, so you can check those out as well. Being able to work in all different types of groups, I got the experience to know what I like and what I don't like, and that's so important. One of the most important things is knowing what you don't like, because then you know how to find what you do like. Actually, I, w I really want to go into aerospace engineering, because I just think it's super cool that I could be like contributing to like the still ongoing space race kind of deal. When you look at this fuse, you see that rating right there? This is a 15,000 volt fuse. If you do some, and then the next month, you might switch For us, we were a continuous process for making everything all the time. Everything on there has a charge, right? Positive or negative. Well, we have to remove those things, and the way we do it is through a resin that's charged. Dow makes this resin up in Pennsylvania, up north, and they make it overseas. These are actually little spherical beads that are charged, and what happens is the water passes through and those dissolved solids that are positive or negative attached to it. And then what comes out is what's called deionized water. What we do with this is we heat it up, we make steam, and steam is used to drive equipment, turn blades, turn shafts, all kinds of stuff. And the only way I a drone demonstration, we demonstrate FPV racing. What well, I am, I'm an FPV pilot, or well, I'm an FPV pilot in training. So we teach people, when you get to college, how to fly these drones, and how to be able to look through the VR headset and fly them manually. We also do much bigger aircraft. So a much bigger airplane is designed to do search and rescue and surveillance. It'll carry a four pound payload and fly completely autonomously. We train students from all majors, regardless of whether you're an education major, film major, to mechanical engineering, to software development, any one of you guys, we accept you guys to come learn with us and train with us and do fun stuff with us. Medical engineering or chemical engineering, things like that, very much um, anything that kind of just deals with like the molecular side of engineering. So basically, I'm less interested in working on uh, machines or anything like that, but more interested on like like engineering molecules, engineering chemicals, things like that. And I think like biomedical engineering is just very interesting overall just to be able to help create like machines or any sort of chemicals necessary for doctors and other medical personnel. So we get to play with some neat chemicals. This is polyacrylic acid. You ever messed with that before? 
How about you? I bet you mess with it a lot. Two pinches. And I could have done it with one probably, but it would take a couple hours. Now you see it starting to thicken up. Now it's turning into a glob. Now you can see it on the surface of the water. Now we're getting there. Now, when I say a solid, now we're probably expecting a brick. <laughs> so I do waste disposal. So for me... Solid is anything that does not drip. That's just like a guy throttling up the jet. You know, he's kicking in the afterburners, he's getting forced air injection. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm naturally sucking it. Once it heats up to about 1,500 degrees, 1200 degrees, you hit the auto temperature. You hear it kind of pumping right now. Some of the bigger furnaces I have, I actually have to come in block from the oxygen. Slowing that down is what you hear it get a little smoother now. Uh, we're just kind of, well, I'm just here kind of looking at all these other uh, different schools and stuff, trying to see what I really want to be when I grow up for an engineer. That's the same for me. Um, well, engineering, you know, I, I heard about all this, like, you know, building stuff, you're designing lots of different things, you know. Especially with computers, that's something I've always wanted to do. I always look at all these like uh, you know, TV shows and stuff, like you know, design all this cool stuff. You know, that's all. That's what I've always wanted to do. Uh, for engineers, just what I know is like my family's all been in it, and it just every time I grow up, they talk about it, and it makes me happy when I hear what their stories and everything. A senior at the University of Houston. Um, the reason why I chose UH is because uh, it's actually close to home and I, I got accepted into like AM and UT and I visited their campuses but I realized that it kind of lacked the diversity that I, I wanted. Uh, so I went to UH and I saw how diverse it was and it kind of just like felt like home so I went and I'm so glad that I chose UH. So uh, because UH is so diverse actually Whenever you go through the curriculum, they, uh, they for, kind of force you to be in like projects and stuff throughout your classes. But uh, you know, being in these projects and being in this diverse pool, it kind of gives you an interesting perspective of what other people think and uh, kind of like things that you've never really thought of before and different perspectives. So uh, it's really like opened my eyes and kind of helped me grow as a person, just meeting so many different people. Uh, and so I'm really glad that uh, I chose UH. So um, I'm currently a mechanical engineering student at the University of Houston and I actually really want to go into the aerospace industry. So I'm currently uh, interning at Boeing right now and honestly the opportunities that UH has had to offer us is really amazing. I joined this club called the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics and so it's everything aerospace. So I joined because I've always loved aerospace growing up and honestly it's been a like life-changing experience. I helped design this rocket right here. Um, it's, we started in the fall and uh, designed everything till the spring. We competed in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico mid-June. Uh, it was such an amazing experience. Just like even getting to collaborate with other teams. Honestly, like we're all like one big family. It was so much fun. I think the hottest day was like 107 degrees, but we were all at it and like taking care of each other. Like we were giving out waters to other teams because they ran out. But I put this up on the wall and a big projector, then it's easier because they have more. A lot of astronauts do major in like engineering backgrounds. And mechanical engineering, we were just talking about this. Mechanical engineering is a really broad one. So I've seen a lot of astronauts have that on their on their belt. In here we have what we call the series bungee system. It's basically medical grade tubing put together in series and it's gonna give that resistance to the crew member. <laughs> um, so basically if there's a problem they'll find a way to fix it or if there's already something known they'll find a way to improve it, make it better. I tried to make an automatic fish feeder once, that didn't work out. But it was fun to try, right? 
This man was fun to try. I want to go into some field because I like designing things and I like using creativity. I like math and I like science, but I don't know how much engineers do that. I know they do. I really like University of Houston. I know one guy was hired at Tesla. Uh, a girl and a guy were both hired at Ford. Um, one of the guys was hired at Fiat Chrysler. We have a lot of people in the uh, car industry specifically. I'm actually a member of a society of women engineers right now. Um, I'm currently, I'm already signed up to actually be hired at ExxonMobil. And I also had an opportunity to co-op. And so I think one of the cool things that you, know, you get to experience when you're doing engineering is getting opportunities to really go into the field and really look at you know, what you're gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis as an engineer. They can work on anything in between houses to cruise ships. I mean, anything mechanical. That's what I'm interested in. They make stuff. An engineer might make a turbine or a new way for electricity. The shopping cart, the microwave, cars, treadmills, lights. I'm interested in many things in engineering, robotics, mechanical engineering, civil engineering. Uh, yeah, when I've been to NASA, it seems like everyone there is working together and having a good time. 